whether you're a working professional or visiting a hospital or waiting for a friend at a metro station, when hunger strikes, the first thing you go looking for is a vending machine. While the innovation is old, when the pandemic hit, the old school vending machines were repurposed and diversified to become no touch points for food distribution. And with the intervention of technology, they're becoming smarter too. One such startup that is giving the makeover to vending machines with its IoT based solutions to make them more advanced and digital is Dalchini. If I look four or five years back, right, India had nearly zero smart vending machines, while on the contrary, there were more than two million vending machines in the US, right? China, Japan, Japan had one vending machine on every 30 people. That is where I saw a gap. When we started Dalcini, we wanted to build a technology first product and take vending machines from few thousands to a vending machine at every 200 meters of habitable area. Dalcini's IoT enabled physical and digital vending machines do not have any human intervention. It is 100% cashless, app based, and contactless. What we built, the first thing was that we just removed all the buttons. Our vending machines are absolutely zero buttons there. There is just a QR code you scan and the entire experience for the consumer is just on your mobile phones only. On the consumer side, we have tried to create an e-commerce like experience. You open the app, you find the nearest smart store, you buy and then you go and pick up instantly. On the partner side, what we have enabled to the retailer is uh, one is the inventory management, the second is the day-to-day -day operations of their vending machine, the production. We also enable them to manage their workforce who's refilling. This also enabled us to create this as an offering for a lot of different services in the country, right? Post-pandemic, what we changed was that instead of just limiting ourselves to office spaces, today more than 40% of our vending machines uh, are there in manufacturing facilities, in MSMEs, in uh, factories where it's a round-the-clock operation. A lot of these factories did not allow the consumers to carry mobile phones inside, right? We enabled them with smart RFID tags. Pre-pandemic, we were restricted to about, say, 10,000 plus offices, that's it, right? But post-pandemic, it opened up for about 65,000 plus MSMEs with 100 plus workforce, right? We also launched a smart vending machines for cabs and buses. Dalcini's vending machines are kiosks in partnership with over 100 E2C brands, such as Sleepy Owl, Slurp Farm, among others, offers a range of different products, including cooked food, personal care and hygiene products, and even stationary items. Cloud Kitchen's Delivery Boy in a day delivers about 20 orders, right, in general. But with our vending machines, one delivery boy is able to manage 5 to 10 vending machines and every vending machine is doing about 100 orders. So this guy is actually serving, delivering about 500 to 1000 orders every single day. Today, most of our products, the Cloud Kitchens that are selling, right, through our platform, right, they are priced in between 29 rupees to 99 rupees. Alongside enabling brands to sell their products through its smart vending solutions, Dalcini operates a franchisee model to allow people to generate income by setting up their own smart vending machines and building smart stores in their preferred locations. 98% of our vending machines and smart stores are owned by our franchisee partners. More than 30% of our franchisee partners today are women. In September, the Dukan Tech startup had raised $4 million in its Series A run from Unicorn India Ventures and other investors. Dalcini has clocked Rs 15 crore in revenues in the first two quarters of 2022 and aims to hit Rs 50 crore in annual revenue run rate by March 2023. India's vending machine market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 17.2% between 2022 to 2028 owing to the growth in the retail industry. With over 40,000 hospitals and more than 500,000 workplaces among others, it still remains a severely untapped market. However, Dalcini is confident that it can change the landscape and has the potential to install vending machines in over 6 million locations across India. With camera person Balbir Singh, Ashwarya Anand for CNBC TV 18.